Our motto is, if we don't do it, who will? Our guiding principle is that our economy does not respect city, county, and state lines. And the reality for us is that in 20 years, that region, that 16-county area, will be populated by the same population as sits in Connecticut today and will have slightly more square miles than does Connecticut today. And the fact that Connecticut has a border around it that says Connecticut is, is meaningless. We don't have a border around us. We have 16 counties that is an economic entity that operates as an economic entity, that people all over the world recognize as an economic entity, that our own citizens recognize as an economic entity, and they ignore those lines every day. And to the degree that you respect those lines and pay too much attention to them, you do so at your peril. We have, as I said before, a regional office in our airport. We have an office downtown. We have a budget. Our regional Charlotte, USA budget is well over $2 million. We have quarterly newsletters. We have an office in Frankfurt, Germany. We have annual mission trips to Germany both ways, over there from our region, from, our, from, from there, all over Europe. We bring people here to our region. We had an international su summit back four or five years ago where we had some 400 people from all over Europe into our region. We took them all over the region. We entertained them. We brought in legislators from North and South Carolina to talk to the legislators and let them see these folks. And indeed, the day I was elected mayor, interestingly enough, the first call I got on the day of my election was from Strom Thurmond, now deceased, had been in the U.S. Senate for, I think, 50 years. And I didn't know Mr. Thurmond. He called me and he said, Richard, I want to introduce your, myself to you because you run my airport. And I said, well, yes, sir, but I thought you live in South Carolina. He said, I do, but he said, that's the airport I fly into. He said, I want you to know that I'm always here to help you in any way that I can. I will support your airport. The senators from North Carolina were equally supportive, but the important thing is a senator from South Carolina recognized what, as I say, all of our citizens recognize. We're in a region that doesn't have anything to do with state lines. We've just completed a $5 million national and international campaign, $5 million to promote Charlotte, USA. We've had ads in Forbes, Fortune, Wall Street Journal, CNN, CNBC, uh, and we've done all we can. If you come in our airport, you'll see signs everywhere. If you saw the ACC tournament last spring in Charlotte, you saw a big logo, Charlotte, USA. We're doing all we can to promote our region and its uh, economic and social interests. We have in North and South Carolina, I suspect you may as well, something we call COGS, or uh, councils of governments. COGS are made up of elected officials from, in our North Carolina, about 10 or 11 of the counties in our region. And uh, we've now com combined to, to have what we call COGS Connect. It is a unified COG plus our Charlotte USA regional partnership that meets regularly it's working on a regional land use plan for our 16 county region. It's working on policies to support sustainable growth, healthy environment, high quality educational institutions, and enhance social equity across lines. And on that subject, let me say this to you. If you really believe that crime or poor education somehow respects jurisdictional lines, and you can ignore those things because you live in Norfolk and you don't really care what happens in Virginia Beach or the other parts of your region, let me recommend that you go to Detroit. And you visit there and you see if you think crime and poor education and economic problems really do respect those lines and you can somehow succeed if you live in one corner of that region, notwithstanding the core of that region is losing 10,000 people a year and having unbelievable problems of all kinds. If you really believe you can go it alone, I, I want you to go to Detroit because that's, that's not reality. It, you, you do sink or swim together. We created, while I was mayor, a Charlotte, now called Charlotte, Regional Sports Commission. Uh, we decided that, that the fortunes of Winthrop College in Rock Hill, Davidson College in Davidson, University of North Carolina in Charlotte, and we have really a, a small group of what you have so many of in your region, had unified interests. And I already know that you're working together in your education. We, we promote this on our sports commission the sports events and the sporting teams that are in our, in our region. Uh, on that subject, um, I spent a good part of my first term as governor, I wanted to be governor, mayor, traveling all over this country with Jerry Richardson who wanted us to have an NFL team. 
And we would go knock on the doors of all of the NFL franchises and go to their Super Bowls and everything else and tell them that we were in Charlotte and we deserved an NFL team. And we got sort of laughed at until Dana, we realized that Hugh McCall, who is ex-chairman of Bank of, what is now Bank of America, and their bank were the bankers for more than half the NFL. So we started taking Hugh with us. And, and when their bankers showed up at their meetings, uh, they began to pay more attention to us. And, and we ended up getting what we call the Carolina Panthers. Jerry named that. And if you look at the Panther, you may not know this, the Panther is, in fact, a picture of the two states of North and South Carolina. And the Panthers team are located at dead center in our 16-county region. And they're not called the Charlotte Panthers for a reason. They're called the Carolinas Panthers because he wants people to understand this is a team for the Carolinas. The Hornets we used to have in basketball, they're now called the Bobcats. My college roommate is their coach. They're not doing very well. In fact, I have now thought that we ought to start calling them the possums <laughs> because they go to sleep at home and they get killed on the road. <laughs> um, but we have a, an arena downtown for our basketball team. We, we would never have had those teams uh, if it were just Charlotte. We only got them because a guy named Max Mullman went out and convinced the NBA that, that Charlotte really was a multi-county region populated by close to 2 million people. And that was bigger than Salt Lake City and bigger than, bigger than believe it or not, uh, Minneapolis and some of the other places that had teams in terms of its economic vitality and population. And unfortunately, the team has not drawn the people. They don't even go from downtown Charlotte to the, the arena these days because they're not playing very well. But that's the concept. We got those things because we promoted ourselves both in Jerry's case for the Panthers and in the, the case of a fellow named George, George Shen for the Hornets. We, we promoted ourselves as a region. And our sports commission picks up on that. I, I, as mayor, make no bones about it. I came to Richmond and spent a weekend there trying to get the CIAA tournament to come to our city. They went to Raleigh first, but we got them by golly. That's a much more important tournament for our community than the ACC because the folks come there for a week. They spend a lot of money, and we do a whole lot to entertain them. We spend a lot of money to promote that, and our sports commission is right in there with us. Uh, they, they promoted the idea of us having a bowl game that we now have in Charlotte. I'm proud to say the University of North Carolina will be there to play in that bowl for the first time in probably decades to play in a bowl uh, this, this winter. Uh, and we've done a whole lot to promote the interests of our other sporting events and our sporting teams uh, in our region. We have what is called the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority that runs our convention center and our Bobcats Arena. And they have a promotional campaign as well as our uh, Charlotte USA on the same subject. And we have a map of our region. It's, it's in fact called the map, Center City Charlotte, 16 county region, You'll see on the bottom of it, Charlotte, USA. And if you open it up, it'll show you the 16 counties and what's there and how to get there. We have in our city a prominent discussion of regionalism all the time. There was an article in the Sunday paper just two weeks ago. The editorial section said, a new Charlotte, proud center, proud ring cities. And it discusses the region and the cities in the region and our economic interests. There's a pundit who writes frequently, and he wrote right after the last election of the differing political views. The city of Charlotte was a big supporter of Obama. The ring around us was a big supporter of McCain. And he basically says, so what? We got to get this country back moving again. So we all got to get on board in our region and support our new president. And he talks again about regionalism. We, we write about it. We talk about it. We promote it. And uh, you take my word, unless you believe it like we do, Unless you implement plans and begin to spend money to promote your region like we do, we're going to beat you. And I will just tell you, I'm glad you invited me. You may not be wanting to come, have me come back, but if you don't get yourselves together, with, that's okay with me. That's fine. Uh, but I will tell you this, that we're, we're going to continue to do what we do effectively, and we do it because we believe in it. And you cannot, I don't believe, compete with us unless you do. I think this gentleman that I quoted earlier is right. You're doomed to perish to death in terms of competition with us unless you get yourselves together. Um, we all are in this thing together. You are all in this thing together. The people you represent are, are aware of that. And you need to understand it as well. If you do, uh, you'll be a viable competitor of ours. If you don't, you won't. Simple as that. Thanks for having me.